Hello, welcome to Oracle course. We will discuss the different aspects of uh, Oracle uh, course in the next set of videos. Now, those who, who are not familiar with uh, the Oracle database, it might help you to know that uh, Oracle is the most popular database uh, used by the enterprises uh, throughout the world. It's one of the most uh, robust and scalable database and used to, to run a lot of critical functions of uh, the companies. Now also Oracle, as it's the most popular and complicated database, uh, there is a lot of demand in uh, for IT professionals with uh, Oracle expertise. So if you are an IT field um, or looking for a job in IT, it's uh, it's uh, it's it'd be very useful if you have uh, good Oracle um, knowledge uh, um, along with uh, the regular database skills. Now, one thing is that if if you know, let's say, if you know a good Oracle, uh, then it is assumed that you know as you are a good database person. So that means even if uh, someone is looking for a, a different uh, database, for example, MySQL or SQL Server, sometimes uh, uh, you being even an Oracle database uh, knowledgeable person can still be able to do um, those jobs uh, quite uh, efficiently. Um, so having said that, let's get started with uh, uh, those things. What we have here is that we'll have a set of videos, uh, including this one, where we'll talk about different components of Oracle. So this being our uh, first video, we will uh, we'll discuss, uh, or actually we'll go over on the brief uh, overview of Oracle database. So let's let's write Oracle database now let's let's talk about first is what is database so sometimes uh, db is a brief uh, uh, version of uh, database so i just said oracle is what is database so database is a a, a system uh, you can say technology system which stores data and allows uh, different ways for that data to be retrieved, manipulated, uh, etc., etc. So, what are the different types of database? One is relational, another is hierarchy. Okay, excuse me if the spelling is wrong. And then there is something called, I think, network database. So these are, so relational hierarchy are the main types. Now out of that, relational is pretty much as becoming a default database. And the different database in relations are like Oracle, IBM DB2, then SQL Server, you have MySQL, and then you have Sybase. So Oracle and probably DB2 are one of the oldest ones. Uh, SQL Server has been gaining ground uh, ever since Microsoft got into the database. And MySQL is, since it's uh, open source free, so a lot of small companies uh, use also MySQL. So MySQL also is, uh, is gaining uh, quite popularity. So so that's sort of you know the high level view of uh, database uh, now fundamentally the core part of any database is something called a table and sometimes they are denoted with uh, this so table stores data and then the uh, database has different components which allows you to retrieve those data in a way which you can use it effectively so that's sort of you know um, the at a, at, a, at a very low level that's what goes on and the different features a database system provides one is uh, storage so that means you know you store the data um, then there is retrieval 
then there is uh, you know manipulation it could be you know deletion of data updation of data then it gives uh, you know accessibility what is accessibility I mean if let's say you have uh, in a company financial information you may not want to have that to be seen by um, let's say uh, you know people who are whose job don't need them or maybe uh, maybe uh, you only want to access that because it's a sensitive information to the to the executive so what I'm trying to say is that you don't want to expose everything to everybody so that's because of you know data is sensitive data is everything uh, in, in a lot of times so that's called accessibility or more access control who can see what um, then there is uh, you know security so there is always hacker uh, threats to access uh, company data uh, from outside so then there is um, then there are other things like you know performance scalability where scalability what that means is that as your company grows probably your data would be growing uh, in the linear or even uh, in a in even a uh, multi multifold so the database has to perform in a reasonably expectable manner so that things don't become slow which hampers uh, your company's uh, efficiency so these are sort of you know high level uh, things which uh, any database vendor would provide through their database um, so now in terms of uh, so let's say in terms of database carrier so let's put let's let's use a different uh, color for some variation so let's put let's talk about I uh, you know database carriers database jobs or carriers so there are one one type of job is um, you know programmer slash developer or maybe application developer who develop applications using database uh, very data intensive applications so they need to be able to uh, program in different uh, database uh, languages for example SQL or uh, PLSQL which is uh, sort of an oracle's uh, procedural language uh, they have to know how to you know run the query faster uh, how to write good queries good queries which run um, fast uh, then there are dbs so dbs are mostly um, it is a, like a, you can think of administrative role where they take care of uh, you know some of the aspects like um, you know making sure the database is secure making sure that uh, um, you know database is accessibility meaning <coughs> the right people uh, have the right access to information then they also take care of uh, performance scalability in terms of security they take care of you know they um, back up storage for example um, let's say if you if there is a storm or something and and all that machine um, you know there was a fire let's say for example in the in the data center and all your database is lost so one of the DBS job is to take uh, backups on a regular interval so that if the data gets lost they can retrieve or they can restore so so anyway so that's uh, sort of DBS jobs and so these are m mostly maintenance and administration of your database uh, so they so that you know the the developers who can develop application based on the database can do their job or if already an a system is already uh, has been rolled it out to the end users you know meaning, meaning your different business users are using the uh, the application to access the data uh, then making sure they can uh, you know they don't have any problems to, to access the database it is all the time running and and etc etc so that's sort of uh, the different types of database jobs uh, then there are jobs you know which are sort of a little bit overlap of uh, this and maybe the business is something called database analyst so meaning they can you know open up data and open up and put the data in SQL and then oh, sorry Excel and then do some analysis on the data so 
So those are the different types of jobs. Uh, I think that sort of gives you a good overview. In the next section, we will dis start discussing on different components of the database.